Okay, everybody. Um, so this is the Harv Collective. I think there's 63, 63 of us here. Uh, so, um, so it's been a very uh, interesting journey to get to here. Um, it started off on Zoom. Uh, everything seems to have started off on Zoom there about a year ago. So we've we had lots of different um, get-togethers on Zoom, and then because we're from. Um, Leash and, and Louth and Mayo, then we had different rehearsals in the three venues and then we went to Carlingford yesterday, the Carlingford Adventure Centre and we had a fantastic bonding session where we, uh, we all went out on the water and some people were firing um, hammers or saws or whatever they were doing and uh, we've all got to know each other very well and um, we're very very excited to play this piece of music for you. So the four movements, as, as Rosine were saying, uh, the first one is meant to be representative of the early Irish music. Uh, so it's a clan march and we call it uh, Tehev the Nearly, or the Flight of the Earls. It's meant to be representative of the, of the 1600s, but there's a sort of a modern slant to it. So we'll give that a go. Thank you.
Thank you. Thanks very much. So the second piece of music is meant to be representative of the era, I suppose, of Tarlock O'Carolan and the, um, the Baroque um, Irish sort of European-ish, harpish music. So it's based around um, 17, 1800s. So uh, I wrote a Planksty and I called it Planksty John Leslie. Um, he's a famous uh, landlord. Don't know if you've heard of, heard of Castle Leslie in Monaghan. So he would have been of that um, aristocracy. So um, yeah, so um, so myself and, and uh, Duke Vukula and, and uh, Gronya Hamley and Siobhan Buckley are going to start this piece. And uh, these ladies have been doing uh, all the teaching. So um, we're all excited.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're a great audience. Um, so the next piece of music uh, is meant to be representative of the 1900s or the 20th century. Um, and um, I wasn't really sure. Um, I was, when I started learning music in the 1980s, um, there weren't too many um, men playing. Um, and I suppose the majority of people um, were playing it were, the, were female. Um, glad to say that has changed here. We have, I think there's four male up here, um, up here playing harp. So big shout out to the lads. And um, so when I was trying to find inspiration for this, I, I, I went to Deirdre up here and I asked like, you know, because I wasn't really sure uh, where to go for the 1900s, uh, the piece for the 19th or the 20th century. So um, uh, Deirdre spoke to me about um, a lady called uh, Sheila uh, Larche Cuthbert and, and Grony Yates and advised me to, to speak to uh, Aileen McCran from Harp Ireland. So I contacted Aileen and then Aileen very kindly sent me um, um, recordings of all of Grony Yates' music and, and, and different um, links to, to go and research and, and when I was doing that um, I came across a beautiful beautiful piece of music that was a suan tree and that's actually what inspired me to write this piece of music so the third mu third movement is we're calling it suan tree and it very much dedicated to, to Sheila uh, Larche Cuthbert so um, it's in two mo it's in two parts so and it's 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 suan tree means lullaby so it's meant meant to be nice and calm so hope you enjoy it
very much. Thank you. Okay, so we're coming to the very end, and we're uh, thank you again to, to Music Generations and the different regions um, who have done an amazing job organising and, and, and taking charge of everything, so very much appreciated. So we're going to finish off with a piece called Circus, so it means joy, and uh, hopefully it will be joyous. Uh,